Hello there, welcome back to another Costco food haul. Now it's been a few months since the last one. I dare say it's been a year since the last Asian Costco food haul. And now there are new items that we can try. Mm, 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 mm. Costco. If you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe for more grocery hauls. There's a whole playlist of them from Trader Joe's to H Mart to Costco. So binge away. If you love and want to support this channel, consider giving thanks below or becoming a channel member and getting a Q cup next to your name. <sighs> you special. All right, ladies and gentlemen and my non-binary friends, let's get started with today's Costco Asian food haul. Ding! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, gotta turn it, gotta turn it. Oh my gosh, this is a workout. Ooh, samples are back. Hey, thank you. Okay, you're wow. Thank you. Ah, oh, jeez. Mmm, cheese and sausage. Okay, y'all. So, I wanted to try this. This is their popping boba. It comes with two flavors. I actually thought this would be in the fridge, but it's just like sitting along the drink section. Check that out. Let's try it. Starting off with bubble tea. Ooh, popping boba. I've actually seen these on a lot of review videos because it was released a couple months ago, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, I have to be honest, I don't love popping boba. I think it's weird when you put it in your mouth and it like you bite into it and it squirts in your mouth, you know? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I want that experience all the time. They have two flavors. One is strawberry lemonade green tea. You can see all the boba floating inside. The other one is mango passion fruit green tea. I will probably like this one. That's all my favorite fruits. It's a little strong. It's, oh! So it just looks like extends out the mango passion fruit. It's not bad. I, it is not bad at all. Now the mango passion fruit green tea is so good. It's a little bit on the sweeter side for me. I usually get 50% sugar when I go to a bubble tea store, but it tastes very good. Like all the right flavors, very, very refreshing. The popping bubbles though, I thought I was gonna hate them, but I don't hate them that much. It tastes like little plastic balls, and when you bite into it, there's like a little squirt of sweetener inside. I don't hate it, actually. They're a lot tinier than the popping bobas you usually get at, you know, a boba store, but it's not bad. Ooh. That one is so sweet. The strawberry lemonade one, too sweet. Not my style. I don't like that one. But the mango passion fruit, I was like, mmm, la la It's not something that I would like go back and buy because of how sweet it is. But I can see this being a hit with a lot of people, especially people who have like families. And I think the kids will love these. Surprisingly, not bad. And you get eight of those little drinks in this box. <laughs> Look, you guys, Taiwanese sticky rice. <laughs> that looks so good. Let's see what it tastes like. Jia jia! Taiwanese sticky rice. Seafood flavor. Look at that! <laughs> so you fan or Taiwanese sticky rice is a very comforting and classic Taiwanese dish. Fun fact, they make you fan to celebrate occasions, for example, a newborn. There's three ways to cook this. So number one, you can boil for 10 minutes. You can microwave for two minutes, which is actually quite nice. Or you can steam for 15 minutes. It's definitely one of those items that is only at your Costco if like you live around a big Asian demographic. Costco items are definitely dependent on where you live. Okay, ooh, six of these pouches. You know when you're grown up and they're like, oh, try astronaut food. <laughs> That's what this kind of reminds me of and feel like. It has a little bit of like a Play-Doh-y texture. For something that came out of a pouch, this looks amazing. And I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. Here we go. Oh my God. Wait, this is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna buy like 10 boxes of these. Oh my goodness, tastes like home. It's so good. It has this very much like deep soy sauce, rich flavor to it. Lots of seafood and the texture of the sticky rice is perfect. I am shocked, it just like came out of a pouch. And it has so much of this like deep mushroom flavor coating each bite. Wow. So for the exact things inside of the sticky rice, there is a blend of shrimp, 
cuttlefish, mushrooms, and sesame oil. This feels like I went to Taiwan and went to a street food stall and asked for some yo fan. Mm. <laughs> Go get it. I'm already feeling kind of full and we just got started. But it's okay, because I'm wearing these stretchy pants from today's video sponsor, Tommy John. Tommy John makes the comfiest loungewear, sleepwear, and underwear. I got this set from them and oh my gosh, it is so comfortable. I wish you guys could feel this. <laughs> As somebody who loves staying home and lounging around, and I also work from home, I can just live in this set the entire day. I've been living in it. I also got this super cute sleep set here. Look at these shorts. Look how stretchy they are. Look how flowy. I'm gonna go to Korean barbecue in these because I need the stretch. Their fabric is high quality, it's breathable, and the fit is great. They're designed for motion, so there's no riding up, no rolling or bunching. I'm also wearing their second skin bralette, which is so light, so buttery, very comfortable and very supportive. There's matching sets so you can mix and match. It's designed for both men and women to feel comfortable. If you're looking for the comfiest, softest clothes, try Tommy John today. Click the link in my description and if you use code CUPATJ, you can get 20% off plus free shipping. Look at the motion, baby! Motion in the ocean. Oh, this is interesting. So these are shrimp cheeks. I don't know what the difference this is between like shrimp chips and shrimp cheeks. It looks flakier. It doesn't feel like much in one little packaging. Ja -ja! Crispy shrimp cheeks. There you go. Check that out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, it smells so good. That's what they look like. They look a lot tinier than I thought they would. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are good. What? So it has the same flavor of shrimp chips, except the texture of a crispy, crunchy fish chip. It is delicious. If you guys ever had um, chicharrones as well, like fried pork rinds, that like flaky texture right here, that's what this tastes like as well. It is so dang good. Very addicting. Mm. <laughs> After filming B-rolls of this, I realized these are the shrimp heads. So they chop up the shrimp heads into little pieces and then they fry them. Seafood, umami flavor, it's bite-sized, it's very crispy, very flaky, so much good crunch in there. Shrimp head, in my opinion, is the best part of the shrimp. Like I love like peeling the top and then sucking out the brain part, the brain juice. This one is a thumbs up for me. Y'all, this is very exciting. So we tried the boba mochi before from here, but they came out with new flavors. This Thai tea and matcha. Ta boba tea mochi. Bling. We have tried boba mochi before. I didn't personally like it because it was too sweet for me. However, I have a ton of friends who really, really love it. And so I got this pack to try the flavors and then I'm gonna give it to my friends. <laughs> Gosh, 60 mochi. Immediately when I open it, I can smell all this fruity flavor. This is what the packages look like. They're super cute. They are very modern. Okay, design team. Boba tea mochi right here. Ooh, love the texture of this. You guys can see the boba center right here. It's like a little boba nipple. <laughs> I don't hate this one at all. I actually really like this one. It tastes like a boba milk tea, but it's not too sweet where I'm like, ah, too much. It's got that nice mochi chew. Oh my gosh, I found out. The last boba mochi we tried is actually a different brand. And this brand's boba mochi, I like more. This is great, it tastes really good. Maybe I won't give it to my friends. <laughs> this is the matcha one. Hmm? Hmm? The matcha is also good. I wouldn't say it tastes like matcha matcha. It's more green tea flavor. And I know you're gonna say TJ matcha is green tea. Okay, but there's like jasmine green tea or just like green tea and there's like matcha, right? This doesn't taste like matcha, but it has a very deep green tea flavor and it's not too sweet, which is amazing. Now it doesn't have the really the layers, you know, the way the packaging shows it has, but it tastes very good. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is actually quite good. Nice little color. Thai tea is a little bit of a miss. It doesn't have like the sweet, delicious condensed milk flavor of a Thai tea. Uh, it's not too sweet, which is usually a compliment, but in this case, there's not really a Thai tea flavor. 
It's like a vanilla mochi. That's probably my least favorite. However, all three of them have the right texture and very enjoyable. Wow, <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> you never know with me a dessert because if it's too sweet, it's like <coughs> But this one, a ping. I like. In this aisle, there's so many like Asian items. There's chicken tikka masala. There's like a lemongrass chicken. There's even a curry, a red curry. I've never seen that before. So I'm gonna select a few things from this aisle, but oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Living my dreams. <laughs> this is my Disneyland. These are the teriyaki pineapple meatballs. And honestly, they look so good and you get so much from one pack. I'm wondering if like there's a sauce package or if it's already marinated, but let's try it. And I've literally never seen this before, but you can get a whole roast half duck now at Costco. <laughs> it's a Maple Leaf Farm roasted half duck. It's 20 bucks. That's honestly not bad. Wow. Pop into the oven or put it on grill. Good stuff. This is also new. I've never seen it before. It is a Korean inspired spicy beef and vegetable soup. I mean, it looks really good on the package. We're gonna have to try this. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite dishes ever, mapo tofu. I am shocked that they have this just in a package and chili oil sauce. Ooh, shh, shh. Wow, mapo tofu. I love mapo tofu. And this is a brand that I haven't seen before. It's so good, it hearts. <laughs> we love a pun. You can put it on your stove top. You can just boil it in a pouch or you can microwave it for five to six minutes. While I am cooking this, I'm also going to heat this up. This is the spicy beef and vegetable soup. It's the same brand and you cook it the same way. Okay, here we go. Maple tofu. Now my main concern with this was I was like, how is the tofu staying in its shape in that little pouch? Cause that pouch gets thrown around, you know? They're using firm tofu here, so the tofu stays its shape. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. I would say spice level from zero to 10. It's like a six, maybe a seven. Flavor wise, I would say six, it sits at like a seven. I don't hate it. The more bites I take, the more addicting it is. I may also be really hungry. I would say getting mapo tofu at a restaurant is so, so much better. There's just something about this one that it's like, okay, you can taste that it's from, you know, a pouch. For someone who doesn't know how to make mapo tofu or even want to spend the time putting that together and you crave it, I can see this kind of hitting that craving. It doesn't have a real Sichuan taste to it. The kind of like bitter spiciness that kind of burns. I like my mapo tofu with softer tofu, which is probably why I'm still kind of like, oh, I'm not sure about this one. Mapo tofu, for some reason, <laughs> here in New York, like around my area, it's like $17 for a plate. So the fact that I can get it in a bag like this, yeah, okay. It says chili oil sauce, but there's not really that much spice to it. Could use more spice. Spicy beef and vegetable soup. You get jeon in Korean. This spicy beef and vegetable soup is one of the most traditional and popular Korean soups in Korea and was considered a food for the loyals. Today, it's a stable menu item in most Korean restaurants. When I was pouring this out of the package or even trying to scoop some into my bowl, the beef is all clumped together. It's like a clump of beef. It was kind of hard to even separate, but let's taste the soup first. Oh no. Oh, it went down the wrong. The spice is coating my throat. Oh, call the fire. Call the, what is it called? Call the fire station. Call the firefighters. Do you call the firefighters or the fire station? Oh, we try to taste another. Honestly, that tastes pretty good. So it tasted like they put a lot of this soybean paste in there. Um, you can kind of taste like the graininess um, in the soup, almost as if like you mashed up a bunch of potatoes and there's like little bits of grainy potato as you drink the soup. The flavor though is pretty dang good. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this beef. It looks a little sus. Hmm. Okay, the beef shreds, super tough, feels very dry and not pleasant to chew. I appreciate what they are trying to do with this one, but it's definitely a no for me. It's not something I would go back and um, get. I'm gonna hand it to them because it does look very traditional. It's just the texture of that beef. 
It's probably because it's in a pouch. But other than that, yeah. Ta-da! Meatballs! Nothing like meatballs to cheer yourself up. We love balls here on this channel. Oh, oh there's so many meatballs! The great thing about these, you can actually pop them into the freezer as well. They stay frozen for three months. Now, to cook these, put it in the oven. You can cook it on the stove top. Um, or you can microwave them for 40 to 45 seconds. All right, here we go. So these cooked up really nicely on the stovetop. It's got a nice browning on it, some crispy parts, and there's actually pieces of pineapple in it. It's like quite large pieces. Actually look exactly like the packaging. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, here is the verdict. Dum, dum, dum. It is good, however, it is quite salty. You're gonna need to pair this with rice. I'll tell you what, it is marinated to the T, okay? I've been watching a lot of Drag Race. The all-star season, ah, oh, so good. Very, very flavorful. Immediately when you bite into it, you can taste all that sweet teriyaki flavor, but it's just so, so salty that you have to eat this with rice. It's such a shame because I kind of wanted to eat this just like with a lettuce wrap or something, you know, um, as like a protein on top of something. I mean, it has 40 grams of protein per serving. It's 150 calories. I think it's great for meal prepping. I think it's easy to toss up, but then again, it is very, very, very savory. I love the bites of pineapples in here. You actually get a nice sweet crunch from it. The meatballs are so soft but it is just so marinated and so salty. Dang it, I keep eating it because I'm like, is it really that salty? Mm-hmm, count how many times I said salty. You know what, Amy Lou? That's what it's called. If you guys come back with a version that is not as salty, oh, these would be a hit. Let me know in the comments below if you guys tried it and how you feel about that saltiness um, and maybe what you pair with it, you know, because I want to enjoy the rest of these, so there you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ow, 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 sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Thai red curry. I've never seen this before. We know the brand Snapdragon. Um, they did the Vietnamese pho, so hoping that this tastes very good. How much is this? $16.99. Curry. Yes, yeah, so you get two pouches. They were nice enough here to say the spice level and it's mild. Okay, so here's pouch number one. Pouch number two, you can see it's cooked chicken in there. Wow, they actually feel like giant pieces. You can microwave this, it takes about three minute total, or you can put them on a stove top. I tell you what, it smells real good. Like the peppers, the red curry flavor, it's all there. The chicken pieces are gigantic. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, wow. Boneless white chicken, it is actually so tender. It feels like you're biting into chicken that they just prepared at a restaurant. For those of you who can't take spice, you're gonna love this curry. Like, it's not spicy at all. This chicken is so dang juicy. Mmm! The curry sauce has this nice sweetness from the coconut cream. It is very addicting. I can actually drink this curry just by itself without rice. <laughs> it's that good. There's bell peppers in here, bamboo shoots, and onion. This item right here is really good. My lunch and dinner. Ah, oh, so nice when it fits perfectly. Oh, I'm gonna let these cool down. <laughs> Look at the size. Of this edamame. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I'm not putting it in my car. I cannot finish this. This will not fit in my freezer. But it's gigantic. Look at this. You guys, miso glazed cod. What? This is one of my favorite things to order at like a Japanese restaurant, usually in the appetizer. Some kind of like miso cod. They even do like miso cod hand rolls now, but look at this. And I'm assuming or hoping that there's like maybe two in here. I'm not sure, but doesn't that look so good? Let's try it. Miso cod? Are you kidding me? Wild caught in Iceland. To cook this, you can bake it in a conventional oven or you can grill it. Oh, wow, there's so many. Oh my gosh, there's like five pieces in here. Let's put one on the baking sheet and see how it turns out. 
while this is in the oven, let's try the other fishy item. I don't think I say it like that. I think let's try the other item that is also fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna get one. Eee! Everything's always so high up. Okay, so this is smoked salmon poke bowl. Look at that. This is new for sure. Lots of protein and looks adorable and tiny. And I'm gonna put it in my cart. I almost missed this one because it was tucked in the corner. It does say in the direction on the back that you can add your own like seaweed salad, corn or something. First off, it comes with a little rice pouch. It says the heating instructions. You wanna tear the top of the pouch to vent and then you microwave it on 45 to 60 seconds. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Comes with a sauce and seasoning. It looks like it's just one giant chunk, but I'm assuming it's already cubed up. So let's assemble this. Avengers assemble. This is very interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, and buy into it, okay? No. Absolutely not. I knew there was no way you can like have poke in a bowl to go like that. Of course it said smoked salmon. Of course in my head I was still thinking it was like fresh poke. So imagine the smoked salmon you put on your bagel, except now it's in chunks of cubes and on top of rice with some sauce. Yeah, it does not work out very well. It has such a strong, savory flavor that comes with smoked salmon. It just doesn't taste good. Listen, smoked salmon is good you know, on my bagel with some cream cheese. It is really good with some eggs and avocado toast. Ah! <laughs> oh. mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. That is a miss. No wonder it's in the corner. The sauce is not anything to rave about either. Oh, oh, even the sauce is like way, way too salty. Oh, not good. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I could get that out of my mouth. I'm part of my world. What would it take to spend a day out on these water? Broadway, here I come. Me so cut. Me so cut. Right off the bat, um, all of the sauces <laughs> just like slipped off. <laughs> it's all right here. However, the fish, very, very tender. It did just kind of flake off. I have a feeling it will be better than the last fish thing that we had. Here we go. All right, everybody. The verdict. Bow, bow, bow. So I had a um, taste of that miso um, sauce on top, and that is not good. I'm actually glad the marinade kind of all fell off to the side. Ooh, yeah. It's got this crazy bitterness to it. The fish, some parts of this cod is very soft. It's very delicious what a cod should taste like. And other parts, it's a bit rubbery. I wouldn't get this again. Now I'm just gonna benefit the doubt. Maybe I cooked it wrong. I should have put it in there for 18 minutes, you know, for something lower. And so maybe it's a little overcooked. It looks fine to me. I really just think it's just not as consistent. It's a miso teriyaki glaze and it's very, very bitter. Well, that is quite unfortunate. I had really high hopes for this one, but I should have known because it was, this is what, 18, was it $18 for $21? And for quite a lot of pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sauce is not good. Costco, it is very rare that you do me wrong, but you have done me kind of wrong with this last two items. You guys know what, uh, if you guys have tried this, let me know if you like it. Personally, it's a no for me because the sauce is quite bitter and the fish is not exactly the texture I was expecting from cod. It looks really good on camera though, but when you chew into it, you're like, ooh, it's quite rubbery. There you guys go. That is another Costco Asian food haul. Thank you for watching, thank you for watching, thank you for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If we get to this amount of thumbs up, I will go back and review all of the Mexican food. I know we haven't done that and I really want to do it because they have like, they have like mini tacos and stuff. Mm. Now it's part of the video where I turn it back to you and ask which of the items that we tried today would you love to try? Mm, mm, mm. Before you leave, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, thank you so much. And leave a little comment, a cute little comment. I will see you guys next time. 
Bye bye. You guys want to see the cat? You want to see the cats? You don't even want to see me at this point. It's just the cats. Well, two, you have to finish the whole video and then I show you the cats. That's how it is now, okay? Yeah.